Greetings. The purpose of this video clip is to help you learn how to tie a couple of knots used in airway management. So the purpose is again to, to display or give you a video to look at the psychomotor skills needed to tie these knots for airway management. The first knot is called the Magnus hitch or rolling hitch. The purpose of that is to secure the endotracheal tube to a length of half inch twill tape. The second knot is the square knot. That secures the tape and the tube to the patient's head and face. Both knots are used to prevent tube displacement and to prevent accidental extubation. Uh, they're typically used in the operating room, the emergency department, uh, rapid response team or uh, emergency response team activity as well as the intensive care unit. Um, once the endotracheal tube is going to be needed for several days, more uh, commercial uh, tube uh, fixation devices can later be applied. So let's look at the, at the Magnus hitch or rolling hitch first. Just simply grab the half inch, three foot length of umbilical twill tape. I'm going to use a little more, a shorter length on one side versus the other. I'm going to hold it in my hands sort of like you're, you're going to hang up a coat on a coat rack. Next, I'm going to take my index finger on my left hand, raise it up, go around the back side, and up again. So now the length of, of the drape piece is hanging in front. I'll do that once more. Raise the index finger up, go around the back, come around full circle, and there we go. On the opposite hand, grab the tape, the thumb and forefinger, and flip it so that the, the loose end is in the back and then simply drape it over the forefinger. I'll do that once more. Forefinger goes up, around, and back up again. The opposite hand grabs the tape, flips the loose end to the back side, and hangs it over the opposite finger. So here you'll see both ends on opposite sides. Then just simply grab the whole knot assembly, place it over the endotracheal tube, pull it down, and secure it. Make sure it's tight, but it does not crunch or displace the inner lumen of the tube. It should be right at the lips and above where the pilot uh, balloon takeoff attaches to the tube. Then simply take the longer end of the tape, place it above the patient's ears, come around to the side, and now the square knot. I'll go right over left, and then left over right. Secure the knot, make sure that I have maybe two fingers of leeway around the patient's cheeks and ears. You can put a little foam tape around the ear or around the cheeks if some padding is needed. The next lesson will be how to tie this tube without having to remove it or put the loop over the top of the tube.